Hi, uh, this is the first video in what I hope is going to be a longer running video series. Um, I'll stop in for less than 10 minutes at a time, let's say, and just try to share some sort of information, whether it be a workflow tip or something to do with my moto configuration or uh, just tips and tricks in general, just short, concise videos. Uh, in this first video, uh, what I want to talk about is I found this cool feature inside of Moto that I've been wanting for a long time, but apparently it's been there forever. Uh, that allows you to pick up a mesh and drop it onto another mesh, and it will snap to that location and align itself to the normal. Um, uh, there are scripts that do this or claim to do this, uh, but I have the worst luck. Uh, they always break on me, or something weird happens, or there's circumstances where they don't work, and it's always when I'm in a hurry. Uh, this method hasn't failed me yet, so I feel confident enough that I want to make a video about it. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so here we are inside of Modo. And the key to this whole functionality is you just need to make sure of a couple of minor setup things. So this is the bolt here that I want to uh, stamp on the surface of this weird toroid thing over here. Uh, the only thing you really have to make sure of uh, is that your center uh, is in a logical location on that on that mesh item because if it's not it's going to look weird because that center is where it snaps and what it aligns with now uh, you'll see in a second so i've got this item and this item and they're separate you, you can see in the item tree there's the toroid there's the bolt the one thing you have to set up is go to your setup tab and you see up on this top toolbar there's a drop action pull that down and choose place and align that's what enables this functionality to work. Once you have that set up, I can grab that and make a duplicate of it, then just drag it over here to the mesh and let go. You know, and it's placed it on that polygon and it's uh, aligned to the normal and it's exactly what I want it to be. So now you know, I can go in here and just dupe, drag, dupe, drag, dupe, drag, and just um, move these meshes around with confidence that they're you know in the right locations. They're you know they're oriented correctly. They're aligning to the curve. And this uh, I haven't found a surface yet that this breaks on. So you can duplicate it around and put, you know, put it on to you know the undersides of things and the tops of things and wherever you want it to be. And you can get them all stuck all over the place. Now, obviously, they all have the same rotation and stuff, so you have to uh, go in later and tweak them up and make it look natural. But for just getting it you know, banged out, it's really super useful. And that's it. Uh, I can't think of much more to say about that, except that it's super handy, and I wish I had found it a long time ago. Thank you.